Welcome everybody to this training video. In this video, I'm going to show you in Articulate Storyline how to make shapes and more importantly, pictures transparent in Articulate Storyline 360. And the reason I say that pictures is more important, um, they're not more important. Let's be honest, whether it's a shape or a picture, it doesn't really matter. But the reason I say the pictures is because the process is slightly different and it confused me. There we go. That's why I say more importantly, which might be the reason why you're looking for this video. Anyway, Articulate Storyline 360, I'm sat in it now, there's a nice picture of my face. Um, let's insert, I'm going to insert a shape, okay, so I'm going to show you how to yeah, insert a shape, there we go. There is a shape, a very boring blue square, and to make the shape transparent, what you need to do is click on the shape, so just one click, go to Format, and then over here, you've got Shape Fill, Shape Outline, Shape Effects, and you've got this little Format Shape arrow. So you just click on that, and then you get Options. And you're currently in the Fill section, which is where we want to be, and you've got Transparency. Now, if I just move that over there, Transparency currently is 0%, and you move it along, and you can see the Transparency is adjusting based on the, how transparent I make it. Take it all the way to there, it's 100% transparent, Click close, there you go, the shape is transparent. But we don't want 100%. What we want to do, and it helps if I click on the right bit, click on the image, go to format, once again, click on the format shape little arrow, and let's change that to a level that I want. There you go, that's quite nice. Now you can see it's transparent, because if I move it over here, you can still see my face behind it. So that's how you do that with shapes. But doing it with a picture is slightly different. So. What I'll do, um, let's move the shape over here to the right hand side. What I'll do, I'll insert another picture. The reason being is I want this picture in the background so you can see the transparent effect on it. So I'm going to insert a new picture. To do so, I'll go to insert along the top and I'll go to photos. Now I could include all of my own pictures by going into picture and picking one from my computer, but I'll do it for photos. I'll use it from the Articulate Storyline 360 library. So I'll click on that. Now, I was organized, I typed in New York. I thought I'd have a nice picture of New York. But actually, now I think about it, let's have a picture of a volcano. No reason for it, other than I want a picture of a volcano. There we go. Um, there you go, this picture here is nice. So I'll click on this picture, I'll go to Insert, and give it just a moment to download. We have a picture of a volcano. There we have it. I'll move this over, let's have it covering the entire slide. I'll zoom my slide out a bit. I'm just going to do a little bit of cropping so it covers the whole slide. So just crop it a bit. It should all be perfect. Yep, there we go. So there is my picture. Yeah, it's on top of everything. It is not transparent, it is fully visible. Let's make the picture transparent. But before I do that, just a reminder, like the video. If you've got any questions, comment down below. If you want me to cover anything in particular using Articulate Storyline or Rise, put that in the comments. I'll probably make a video for you. Always looking for new uh, new content. Also, don't forget to um, don't forget don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right back to it. We have a picture. Let's click on the picture. Go to Format, and then on the right hand side here, where we've got Picture Shape, Picture Border, and Picture Picture Effects. Click on this little arrow for picture, sorry, for format shape. There we go, click on that. Now, previously we were in fill and there's the ability to make it uh, transparent, but that's not here. What you need to do is go down to picture. And then in picture, you can see you have transparent. So if I move this box over to the side, click on transparent and I'll just drag it over. And what you got to do is drag it and let it go, okay? You, you can't drag it. If, if I drag it like this, I'm moving it, nothing's happening. You've got to drag, let it go, drag, let it go, and you'll see how transparent it becomes. So you can see that it is starting to become very transparent. Again, go to 100%, there's no picture there. There's no point in doing that. But if you have it like you know, 50%, 60%, and so forth, you can do that. Once you're happy with it, click on Close you've now got a transparent picture over the top of these other pictures. And what I can do, I can send that picture to the back. So I'll click on the picture, right click on it, center back. And it's, it's like that now, it's quite nice. 
got this box here as well, so I could put some text in the box or something. I can say, oh, welcome to this course. Even better if I can spell course. I can make that nice and big. Make it bold. I pick a better font normally, but you get the idea. And then suddenly I've got something that looks a little bit different. That is how you make a box or a shape transparent. And that is how you make a picture transparent. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how to add in a picture from your own computer. So to do so, go to picture along the top, find the picture. So we go to pictures, um, let's find a picture in here. So which one do I want? Let's picture, picture of this laptop. Open it, okay, picture of a laptop. Again, to make it transparent, the same process, it's no different if it's from your computer or if it's from the library. Click on the image, go to format. This little arrow here below these options. Go down to picture and then adjust the transparency accordingly. And you'll see that you've now got a transparent picture where you can see my beautiful face behind it. A little bit of bonus content for you on this one because we're talking about images, I might as well show you this as well. How do I remove the background from images? Well, I use this website called remove.bg. I'm not affiliated with them. I have nothing to do with them. I just really like the website. It's really useful. So I've got a blank slide here. I'm gonna insert a picture. So I'll go to insert, I'll go to photos. Um, I, had, I was just looking for volcanoes. Let's find another one, let's say put in manager. There we go. Um, too easy. Let's pick one that's not so easy. Like this one is going to be really easy to remove that background. We don't want that. Let's do one that's more complex. Let's go for this picture here. So I want this picture here. We've got a man and a woman sat on the bench and they've got buildings behind them. I really like the picture, but I don't want the buildings behind them. So what do I do? Well, right click on the picture and go to export picture and save picture. So we'll call it man and woman one okay i'm just saving that picture man and woman one and it should have saved it to my pictures uh, let's go to here let's just find it da, 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 da. Um, there you go man and woman one let's go back to that remove.bg website so here we have it i'll bring up the picture man and woman one i'm going to drag and drop onto the website Okay, and what it's done, it's now removed everything from this website behind. So you've now got a picture of the man and the woman, and it's done a very good job. Not perfect though, so what I could do, or if I was happy with this, just to let you know, I'll show you what to do. If you're happy with it, you just click download. There you go, it's just downloaded it. It's now sat on my computer. Um, if I were to go to my downloads, um, you can't see it because it's off screen, but anyway, I've just opened up the image. There you go, there's the image. But what you can do, if I go to edit, and I can go to erase or restore, I can choose to restore certain parts of this image. So I'll change the brush size down a bit, and I can say, you know, restore this whole section. See what it does. There you go. Maybe restore behind or between the gentleman's legs. Who are Mrs. There we go. I'll click download. I'm just going to download the image. Let's have a look at this one. There you go, new version of it. So I've now got this image which I can use in my e learning. Yeah, because we're talking about e learning here. So there's the original image. I'll just move it to the side just so you can see it. I'll go to insert. I'll go to picture. I'll find the, uh, the, the image which is in my downloads folder. There's this man and woman one. Go to open. There's my new image there without all of that background. Let's press delete and there you have it. So that's a little bit of bonus content for you there and that is how to remove the background from images. And the same principles apply though, so I can make that transparent by clicking on the image, go to format, click on this little arrow here, which is below picture shape and everything. Click on this little arrow, picture, transparency, and it'll make it more transparent. So I'll close that. Just to prove it, if I was to copy and paste this 
onto this one here. You can see that we have a transparent picture of a man and woman going over the top of my pretty face. Anyway, as a reminder, like the video, comment down below if you've got any questions or even if you just want to say thanks Al, that was the greatest video ever made. Subscribe to my channel, I'll keep coming up with these top tech tips and um, I hope you enjoy the content. Thank you very much.